So in this video, we will learn about some common problems in the house. These are not all of the problems that you could have in your house, but I think we cover a lot. So we're going to talk about just issues with the building, with the furnishings, but also things like bugs, animals. So yeah, let's get started. Overflowing. Overflowing. The toilet is overflowing. The water is too high and it's going on to the floor. The toilet is overflowing. Overflowing. The sink is overflowing. The sink is overflowing. Turn off the sink. The sink is overflowing. The water is falling onto the floor. The tub is overflowing. Turn off the tub. It is overflowing. The tub is overflowing. A clog. The toilet is clogged. You used too much toilet paper and now the toilet is clogged. We have to unclog the toilet. The toilet is clogged. Leaking. The ceiling is leaking. That means water is falling from the ceiling. The ceiling is leaking. Now, why is the ceiling leaking? Maybe the bathtub upstairs is overflowing, so now the ceiling is leaking. The ceiling is leaking. A clog. The drain is clogged. Do we see the drain? The drain is clogged. Maybe it's food, the kitchen drain is clogged. Maybe it's the shower drain is clogged, but the drain is clogged. That means water cannot exit to the pipes. The drain is clogged. Running. The toilet is running. The toilet is running. So you know you have a running toilet when after you flush, you wait 10, 15 seconds, but you hear water. It's like, if you always hear water, then your toilet is running. That's bad because it means you're using a lot of extra water. And that means your water bill is probably going to be high. The toilet is running, so you should fix it. Power outage. Power outage. That means no electricity. So the power is out, there is a power outage. Sometimes a whole neighborhood loses power. There's a power outage in your neighborhood. So for that, you can't do anything. You can call the electric company or you can wait. But if the power goes out only at your house, so your neighbors have power, that means there's an issue with your wiring. There's an issue with the electricity in your house. Sometimes you can go to the circuit breaker, a box with switches, and reset the power. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a way to try to fix a power outage. Flood. Oh no, the basement is flooding. Flood. It means there's water on the floor and it stays there. It could be several inches, it could be several feet. Oh no, the basement is flooding. Broken. The window is broken. Maybe a child hit a baseball, but the window is broken. The glass is broken. You have to replace the broken window. The lock is broken. The lock is broken. You might have to replace the locks. The lock is broken. Chipping, peeling. So that's for paint. This paint is peeling or chipping. So why does paint peel or chip? There could be a few reasons. One, the paint is old. 
and just needs new paint. It's many years old. But a lot of the time, chipping and peeling paint is because of humidity. So there's water in the air and it causes the paint to peel. So that's another problem you have to fix. But the paint is peeling. Warning, if you don't like bugs or little critters, don't keep watching. I'm going to show you pictures of bugs. And not like butterflies, but like fleas and cockroaches and stuff. Alright, fleas. Fleas. The first kind of common bug problem that people have. We have fleas. That doesn't happen often. People usually don't have fleas. Dogs and cats have fleas quite often. So, I'm sorry, you can't come over today. Our dog has fleas. Or, don't touch the cat, she has fleas. So you can have fleas in your house. Next, bed bugs. This one is bad. So we have bed bugs. This is what bed bugs look like. Bed bugs typically live on like your mattress, maybe a couch, but they cost a lot of money. They're very expensive to get rid of. And people don't like them because one, they're gross, but two, they bite you. So you wake up and you have little bites all over you. Maybe it's from bed bugs. You can check for bed bugs by looking at your mattress with a flashlight. But bed bugs are a very big problem, especially in cities. You could get bed bugs from a city bus and then take them home. Bed bugs are one of the reasons why city buses aren't really fabric anymore. They're plastic instead of being cloth like clothing because it makes it less likely that you'll get bed bugs from a city bus. Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Cockroaches can live anywhere. There's always jokes saying that cockroaches can survive anything. So cockroaches can live anywhere, but they like places with food. So if you live near a restaurant or something like that, you're more likely to have cockroaches. In general, with cockroaches and then animals, you're always more likely to have them if you have food for them. So that could just be you have a lot of food in your pantry and they know it's there and they want it. Cockroaches. Rats. Rats. We have rats. This is um a friendly chef rat. He likes to cook. But not all rats are this cute. You don't want to have rats. Rats are big and they're nasty. They can carry diseases. Like the bubonic plague. That was caused by fleas on rats. Hey, fleas on rats. Mice. Mice. We have mice. So the difference between rats and mice, mice are smaller, rats are bigger. Rats are much larger than mice are. A cat can kill a mouse. So one mouse, two mice. A cat can kill a mouse. Some people have cats to kill mice. I don't think a cat could kill a rat. I feel like that would just be a very nasty fight because rats are bigger. They're like got bigger teeth. They're scary. Again, not this rat because this is the rat from Ratatouille. But yeah. Well, hopefully you learned something in this video. I hope that you don't have any of these problems in your house, but now you know how to talk about them if they ever come up. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.